Pokemon released their final trailer in the run-up to the release of Scarlet and Violet today. It wasn't what we were kind of expecting, but there was a bunch of information in there, as well as a lot of information on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website that we're going to get into. There's mystery gifts on there, there's schedule events, and a bunch of other things that we're going to cover in today's video, so you don't miss anything when you pick up your copy of Scarlet or Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later later if you'd like to. So yes, earlier today we got the trailer and there wasn't that much in it. We obviously got the showcase of Ed Sheeran's Celestial Song in the trailer. It was pretty nice, but not much information. Uh, the big things that I kind of picked out from it were this scene here where we got a few extra new characters. I guess we haven't really been introduced to these characters. You can see here as the treasure hunt has been explained, but we get a bit of a better look at these characters. And I'm wondering whether or not these are gym leaders or are these elite four members? I haven't really heard anyone kind of speak about them. I don't know, but uh, interesting nonetheless, but not much other information. We did get some new gameplay throughout this trailer and the big reveal was obviously the Don Fan stuff. So we've got a brand new form of Don Fan we've got two forms paradox pokemon are officially confirmed whether or not they're calling them paradox pokemon or not but we do see the ancient form of don fan and i don't know what don fan did to deserve this form but we get the future form as well as you can probably tell i'm not a huge fan of it so those were the two forms we get we'll get into detail about them in a little bit and then the other big reveal was the terrestrial hat for dragon types. So the dragon terror type hat is here. You can see it on the Dragapult. Looks pretty nice as well. I do like it a lot. Um, but that was pretty much it from the trailer itself. We didn't get a bunch more information. They've kept everything pretty close to their chests. Uh, but the majority of information was announced on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website. We did get a bit of an insight into the Scarlet Book and the Violet Book, which we'll go into now. The Scarlet Book, which will appear in Pokemon Scarlet, and the Violet Book, which will appear in Pokemon Violet, are records from an expedition, and they were written long, long ago. The expedition is said to have traversed an uncharted area of Paldea region, but whether or not accounts depict in the books are true remains unclear. It seems Arvin always carries a copy of one of the books with him. And there you can see Arvin with the books in the respected versions of the game. Photographs and sketches of unidentified creatures fill the pages of the Scarlet Book and Violet Book. While there have been sightings of similar creatures in recent years, such reports are rare and specific details of the creature's biology are still a mystery. But there we go, we've got the confirmed names of them as well. Great Tusk is the ancient form of Donphan and Iron Treads is the future form. And you can see the sketches in the book here depicting the images of these Pokemon, but we do get some gameplay, very short, brief pictures of them in the trailer today. Uh, the book describes how this savage monster attacked the expedition team with its large body and tusks, mortally wounding one of the explorers. And that is the Great Tusk Form, which is, I say, the, the ancient form of Donphan. And then the monster known as Iron Treads. It is said when this monster curls its body and rolls to attack, it leaves a trail gouged in the ground as if it had scorched the earth. So whether that's a hint at its typing or not, but the leaks have kind of elaborated a little bit on the typings of these. We did a whole Paradox Pokemon uh, video. So if you want to check that out, it will be linked up above right now. Note that the Great Tusk will be depicted in the Scarlet Book and the Iron Treads will be depicted in the Violet Book. So that is the information on the Scarlet and the Violet Books. We obviously get a bit more uh, gameplay of Arvin as well with the Herba Mystica and Titan Pokemon. The next thing to go over is take on Terra Raids as well. A bit more information about the more rarer Terra Raids and we get a bit more information about catching unrivaled Charizard and Black Crystal Terra Raid battles. During your adventures in Paldea region, you may find black crystals that look different than the ones you ordinarily approach to take on a terror raid battle. The Pokemon you face and these black terror raid crystals are much stronger than those that appear at ordinary terror raid crystals and defeating them can net you rewards that are even more exciting than usual. So the normal terror raids, you know, they've got a kind of hue color to them. These ones are black, very distinguishable in the, the wild, in the open world. So you're going to be able to see these a mile off and they contain the stronger Pokemon. And for this event, Charizard 
Hazard with its mightiest mark will be appearing at the Black Terror Raid Crystals during two periods. The first one is going to be December the 1st to the 4th and then again from December the 15th to the 18th. So there'll be two events running pretty soon after the games are released with Charizard. It's going to have that mightiest mark on it and it is going to appear with the Dragon Terra type in these raids. You've got a bit more information schedule obviously from Thursday, December the 1st to Sunday, December the 4th, and then again on Thursday, December the 15th to December the 18th. Of course, we will cover all of the updates as and when they are happening about these terror raids and any other ones. Charizard cannot normally be encountered in Paldea, and Charizard appearing during this event has the dragon as its terror type, making it a formidable foe and powerful ally. It will use devastatingly powerful moves in battle, so defeating it by yourself will be extremely difficult. Team up with family, friends, and trainers around the world to take it on together. There's a little picture of it. You can see the mightiest mark as well that you're going to get for this particular Pokemon and that title as well, Charizard the Unrivaled, which is pretty cool. I like these little bonuses that they're given these events. It makes them quite unique. There is worth noting though, this Charizard will have the same mark ability and moves regardless of when it is caught during the event. The ability is not revealed in this. You would imagine it is solar power though, because it is the stronger ability to have. So you would imagine that is the ability. Hopefully it is and not Blaze, but it is not going to be able to be changed. It will have the same moves regardless I'm assuming though, because they don't mention it, natures will be different on the Charizard. This special Charizard can be caught once per save data. So it is worth noting that you can only catch this event Charizard once per your save file. You're not going to be able to catch multiples of them. So if they are potentially available as a shiny, then you might want to kind of hold off catching the first one you come across and try and get the shiny version of the, Char the Charizard from this raid then, if it is possible. But of course, as soon as we do get information about it, we'll confirm it on the channel. But handy information for you shiny hunters out there, just to keep in mind. You will still be able to participate in Black Crystal Terror Raids and receive rewards after you have already caught the Charizard with the mightiest mark. Charizard might appear in other events or be encountered in different ways in the future. You'll be able to take on Terror Raid battles at Black Crystals after completing certain post-game events. So this is a good line to keep in mind. You're not going to be able to do these higher level raid dens until you've finished pretty much the game. So a bit like Sword and Shield, you weren't able to take part in five star raids until you beat the game. So you become the champion that unlocked five star raids. It's going to be pretty similar uh, scenario, I think, in Scarlet and Violet. You're going to probably have to be the champion uh, or complete the three story mods to be able to get access to these terror raids. We will, of course, again, confirm all of this when we know full information about this uh, when the games are released. However, players who haven't completed these events may still participate in the terror raid battles by joining other, an, another trainer's terror raid battle, whether they're in a multiplayer group or by using a link code. You'll be able to join in though if you haven't completed the in-game content that you would need to actually get this in your own copy of the game. So you can join friends um, online to participate in this. You're going to need a Nintendo Online membership, of course, like you did with the Raid Dens anyway, to access these. Uh, to count Pokemon feature in Terror Raid Battle events, you need to download the latest Pokemon Portal news. Um, and this is going to be pretty much that day one update, which we'll get to right now. So the other raid events that have been announced as well today, a bunch of information coming out. Of course, Terror Raid Battle events give you the chance to catch and count a certain Pokemon or Terror types. Uh, catch Eevee in Terror Raid Battles during the Eevee Spotlight. So the first Terror Raid Battle event, the Eevee Spotlight, will take place from Thursday, November the 24th to Sunday, November the 27th. Again, when these events are coming up, we will do a video just to remind you so you don't miss them. These are very shortly after the game's release, the week after almost, so you're going to be able to have these events straight away. During this event, Eevee will be appearing more frequently in Terror Raid Battles. They will have various terror types, team up with family, friends, trainers around the world, see what kind of Eevee you can try and find, 
or try and get one with your preferred terror type. So as you can see here, the three pitches, you're gonna get a grass, a fire and a water type EV, which, you know, there might be other terror type versions as well within this raid, or it might just be locked to these three types. But good to know that we're gonna get an event straight away as soon as these games kind of drop a week later. Um, and then the information just down below about online subscriptions and stuff that we've already mentioned in that Charizard one. There is an update about Pokemon Home as well. Uh, the latest Battle Stadium statistics from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will soon be viewable in mobile device versions on Pokemon Home. From the app, you'll be able to view information about uh, trainer rankings, frequently used Pokemon, online competitions, and more. You'll also be able to see what moves, abilities, and held items are being used in battles the most. This update to Pokemon Home's battle data feature slated for early 2023 will let you check out handy battle data and enjoy Pokemon battles and titles and even more. So this is all going to be updated. You'll be able to get access to this when we get home compatibility, of course, and it does show that you're going to be able to bring Pokemon over and it's just kind of showing the Hisuian forms there, obviously Cleaver and then Zoroark. So um, no news directly on the dates of home compatibility, but but it is going to be in 2023. We covered that in the Gemi Ghoul video anyway. Then we've got some more in-game mystery gifts that you're going to be able to access on a day one of these games dropping. Um, you're going to be able to get customizable Rotom phone cases for your, your Rotom phone. Um, and it's all depending on the save data you've got on your console from other Pokemon titles. So if you've got Pokemon Let's Go, uh, Pikachu and Eevee, you've got Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Chain and Pearl, Pokemon Legends Arceus and Pokemon Sword and Shield, they're all going to give you a different phone case. You can see the green one here is going to be the Let's Go Pikachu. you got the ball guy for Pokemon Sword and Shield. And then this, I guess it's kind of like a battle screen um, down here. Not the best one for Brilliant Diamond, Chain and Pearl. And then the Arc phone for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which is pretty cool. So it does give a bit of information about how you can get these in-game, have this bit more customizable um, Rotom phone, which is, which is a nice feature. If you have play records from Pokemon Legends Arceus, like I say, any of the games, you will be able to receive a Rotom phone case in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet with a design inspired by the game the player records are from. Swap out your Rotom phone case to one that suits your style as you set out to explore the Paldea region. Notes, you can receive the Rotom phone case by talking to the woman in front of the stairs leading up to Mesagoza's central plaza. And this is the NPC character here you speak to. If you've got the save data on your console from these previous games, you are going to be able to access all of these mystery gifts. Um, and it does note as well that it takes approximately two hours of playtime to reach this point uh, where this feature is available. So it sounds as though it's going to take a little while to get to the main city. Uh, lots going on before you actually get there. I do wonder about this though. I wonder if it's like Google Maps when you put in Google Maps and it says it's a 30 minute walk somewhere when in reality anyone walking normal pace will get there in 15 minutes. So whether it's two hours or not, I'd imagine it'll be a good hour, over an hour, but uh, it's not going to be something that we're going to get straight away as you go into the games. And the last thing is updates and online play. Things we can do on uh, day one, pretty much. Updates are planned for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet after release. The first of these updates is version 1.0.1. .1. This will be available day one. We know it's a day one patch. which will become available day one, the game's release. Downloading the version 1.0.1 .1 update will allow you to enjoy online play. So you're going to need this update if you're going to do anything online. Uh, so please be sure to update your games before starting play. Remember as well that there is an early purchase bonus for Pikachu. You don't have to pre-order or anything for this. You just have to have the game bought before Tuesday, the 28th of February, 2023. And you'll be able to receive this mystery gift Pikachu in game. You're going to be able to get this uh, for free as soon as you boot up your game, go into mystery gifts as long as you've done this update and you'll get this flying terror type Pikachu. Pikachu as a mystery gift and you can use it in your playthrough if you want. Uh, obviously you can only take on the special terror battles that we've talked about like the Charizard event and the Eevee events with this day one update um, because you're going to need it to get online and then there is a bit more information about multiplayer and also the the online battle stadium which will be running I think from December they've confirmed it. It is worth knowing with the day one update you're going to need at least one gig of data free on your memory card or your SD card so you can download the update so it is a pretty hefty update to the games. Let me know what you think of these new Dawnfan 
informs. That's the biggest news, I think, of the day. Obviously, we've got these events running as well. We've covered a bunch in this video. But the Don fan forms, we've got the ancient form and we've got that future form. I am not a fan of the future form. I'm not going to hide it. I'm not normally one to pick holes in Pokemon designs. There are certain Pokemon that I'm not like keen on, but their designs are generally quite good, quite Pokemon like. Iron Tread is just terrible. And it's probably the first time I've ever said that I really dislike a Pokemon design. Really dislike it, and um, I'm not not a fan at all. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I do love that great Tusk form. I think it looks good. It looks authentic to the games, to what it is. But these future forms, hopefully the other ones don't look like it. Please don't ruin Tyranitar. That's all I'm saying. Don't ruin Tyranitar. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. I thought we'd get a little bit more from today's trailers. I guess all the information on the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet website makes up for that. So if you have found it useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave a like, all that good stuff, and I will see you all for the next one. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.